Welcome to the Nicholas 11X12 technology. Today we're looking at the Gigabyte Radeon R7 260X OC 1GB GDDR5 AMD graphics card. Some of you might remember me reviewing the R7 260X from MSI. Well, this time we're looking at the Gigabyte version. Please note, this is the 1GB GDDR5 version. Before I move on, I'd like to thank Fortec as, in my opinion, the best online shop and store for providing me this product. I should also let you know that this review is based on my own personal and subjective opinion. In the box is the Gigabyte Quick Installation Guide, the driver CD, but I'd recommend downloading the latest drivers from the AMD website, a dual Molex to PCIe 6 pin power adapter, and the graphics card itself. the specifications. The Gigabyte Radeon R7 260X OC offers 1 gigabyte of GDDR5 video memory. The Bonaire XTX GPU is used and the core clock is at 1075 MHz. The memory clock at 1500 MHz. The TDP is 115 watts and the 28 nanometer architecture is used. DirectX 11.2, OpenGL 4.3, as well as the new Mantle API supported, and the bus width would be 128 bit. The Gigabyte R7 260X is not the most beautiful graphics card, I have to admit, but at this lower price point, you shouldn't be judging aesthetics that much, anyways. A plastic shroud is used, and as you can see, for cooling, a good amount of aluminum is used here. Gigabyte used our triangle cool technology here with a 100mm large fan, but right off the bat I can tell you this card won't run hot anyways, so there's no need for super cooling. To power this card up, a single PCIe 6 pin power connector is required. Gigabyte used our blue PCB here, and up here is the crossfire connection for up to a two way crossfire configuration. This is a dual slot card by the way, and as for the outputs, you have two DVI outputs, one HDMI, and last but not least, one DisplayPort output. But now let's move on to the benchmarks.
So there you have it, the Gigabyte R7 260X has performance to offer for its price. The R7 260X is the minimum graphics card requirement for decent gaming experience in my opinion. You can definitely play games at 1080p. Of course you'll not be able to play all the games at the maxed out settings, but it's perfectly fine for the price. However, I have to say, the performance is worse than the one on the R7 260X from MSI. That's because this Gigabyte version is clocked lower. Also, I should let you know that this specific card only comes with 1GB of GDDR5 video memory, while the MSI version had 2GB. But that doesn't really affect performance that much unless you play at resolutions higher than 1080p. But please keep in mind, this Gigabyte R7 260X is also cheaper than the MSI version I've reviewed some time ago. The temperatures are no problem at all and the card remains quiet even on full load. The power consumption somehow is a little higher than on the MSI card, although not as much performance is offered. I don't know what to think about that, but it's probably a driver thing and you shouldn't worry about that too much. When it comes to the looks of this graphics card, I have to say it's not really my taste, but then again, you shouldn't judge the aesthetics that much at this lower price point. All in all, it's a good card. Pros are good price performance ratio, good performance and very quiet. As for cons, I have to say the power consumption is a little too high. But other than that, the Gigabyte Radeon R7 260X OC 1GB GDDR5 is a good graphics card and I definitely recommend it. Once again, thanks to Fortigas for providing me this product and therefore making this review possible. Thanks for watching, don't forget to subscribe and visit nicholas11x12techx.com to see videos there earlier than on YouTube.